Good afternoon, everyone. I hope all is well. Appreciate your time. I'd like to just update you all with um, some of the latest happenings within the Department of Education, of course, at PS42 as well. So I promise to be brief, but a couple important information topics and, and reflections I think everyone should be on the same page with. So as you know, um, we sent home some literature, but perhaps you didn't have the time to read it over yet. And I thought connecting with you and making sure communication is really tight, we'll, we will remain successful. So the Department of Education, through the guidance of the CDC, um, received some recommendations that we can now shift from six feet social distancing to three feet, decreasing the space between students, um, particularly when they're in the classroom, as well as when they're traveling through the campus. Again, students will always be wearing masks, but this, um, this new update and guidance from the CDC, in a sense to me, is a game changer. And, and it certainly is in the best interest of our students being able to come to school. So um, this game changer will, we believe strongly that will allow more students to attend in-person learning. So students who are full remote, we're going to be opening up the opt-in window. This opportunity is for all remote students to shift into blended learning in grades pre-K, K and five. And of course the classroom capacity limits because of this now will increase, right? So we can increase the amount of students we can put in our classrooms. We're currently waiting for the Department of Education to give us the updated guidance space planning documents that we need. Right now, the, the literature we received um, informs us that certain rooms were allowed to up to 12 students, some rooms even larger, depending on square footage. So we're waiting for the most current and updated documents from the city. At the same time, um, the city now opened up, the Department of Ed opened up the opt-in window. It began on the 24th yesterday and also will close on April 7th. So there's an ample amount of time. What I'm afraid of between spring break and the busyness of your households, I don't want it to be an oversight. So if you're a family who is currently remote, and I think every family member at PS42 ha should have an understanding of what's going on within our school, within your school, um, it's important that we're all on the same page. But if you're a family that is interested in shifting from full remote to blended learning, please utilize the link, the, the actual link from the Department of Ed. Um, we did a informal survey just to get, gauge how many people are interested, and I'll talk about that in a second. But if you can't find it and you have a, um, some questions about this and you want to have a conversation, please reach out and we'll connect, to you, uh, connect with you immediately. The official start date for students to start in-person learning, shifting over from full remote, uh, needs to be determined. We're waiting for guidance from the city on that, but in the process, we're planning accordingly. Our current enrollment at the moment, I think it's important to always ground uh, and give context of who we are and, and what it's gonna look like once the window closes and should people shift over. But right now, um, the number of students attending PS42 total number 1,036, and 35% of our students who are attending full remote, 359 students to be exact, and 65% of our students are attending blended learning um, in total 677. And so that is who we are right now. And now that the window is open, we're, we're looking at the 359 students. We're wondering how many students will be shifting over. So um, as a preliminary um, wondering in, in a um, gauge, we sent out a survey just out of curiosity. Not everyone responded. It's a busy time for us all, but out of the 359, um, we learned that 25 families are interested, um, gave us the heads up and they're waiting for the formal link to open. And it's open now. But in the interim, we were just trying to gauge for planning purposes. Um, 25 families showed an interest. So the number of students opting in and remaining remote, they may have an impact on our current model. We're, we're, we're not thinking it's definitely gonna happen, but we always wanna keep options open and everyone be on the same page. So should we have a very major uh, shift of students? Of course, I would have to redesign our teacher programs and our assignments, but we're looking to do this seamless and less impact on our students and families. 
I get it. I totally get it. Um, we're in the kid business. We want our children to feel comfortable, safe, and sound. And I don't think anyone can handle any more disruptions. So that will be the target and looking to minimize any types of changes. Even Maybe we won't even have to change anything. So that's how we're thinking. We're thinking with the space capacity increasing and the volume of people coming back, we think we would absorb it with no real impact to our families and children and teachers. Um, what's really cool about this, the possibility of increasing the days of in-person learning it will be on the table. And that's something we're always gonna pursue. And of course, once the data comes in and the window closes after April 7th, I'll work with school leadership, faculty and parents and making sure that all decisions are made in the best interest of our students and families. So I'm looking forward to that. I just want you to be in the know. If you have any questions, please reach out. The window can close quickly. We have spring break, like I mentioned, and I know a lot of things are going on in your household. So if you're interested, please opt in. This is the time to do it. Virtual General Office is always here for you. Reach out, we'll always talk to you. And lastly, I just wanted to connect with you on another topic, not in a deep way, but just let you know that I'm looking forward to connecting with you some more about end of year celebrations as we keep learning more and more about the um, wonderful things we can be doing. I would like to talk to you about um, what summer school might be looking like for our students academically. We're uh, still pursuing camp at school, seeing if we can do that as well. I know you need time and um, make, make, make the necessary plans for your children, but I promise you as soon as we get the information, I'm gonna give that to you. So I'm looking forward to that. And lastly, just really, um, and just as importantly, talking to you more about at the end of this year, what September will look like as well. So more to come. Thanks for your time. I appreciate it and be safe, be well. Reach out if you have any questions. Thank you.